Captain on the bridge. Alrighty, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed. So on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor, do us a solid hit that like button as it does help out the channel get recommended out there in the YouTube algorithm. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing to our YouTube bridge. We're always on the lookout for like-minded captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now with that said, here we go. Yes, captains, a couple things to go over and you've already seen the thumbnail. So we've been covering this for the last three days and today we got our confirmation. So we'll go over what we need to, drop the two ECs and then at the end give our conclusion. So first things up, I was waiting a little bit on this because it's not releasing until essentially here in the next little bit, but we have the friendship class, Flight Deck Carrier. It's coming to the Infinity Lockbox on Xbox and PlayStation later this week. So this had already released on PC two months ago, or a month ago, I should say, because this was the actual logged in of course it released about a month ago and it, that's how far the release times usually it is sometimes when they do not release it on the same day for all platforms it's about a month so but yes the friendship class is coming to the console bridge and it drops october 12th and we all know what else is also dropping on october 12th but we'll get to that in a little bit so again we've gone through this i'm gonna link the video in the description below so it happens so you can get our reaction on that but we'll go over this quickly again the friendship class flight deck carrier is coming to the infinity lockbox on xbox and playstation october 12th i will just read this little bit here the friendship class flight deck carrier is an elegant as it is versatile and its ability to empower its own hangar flights makes it excellent at supporting its allies power transfer modules that provide windows of starship level energy to small craft and also light cities during disasters and the same carrier fleet group that projects power along broader can add considerable teeth to even civilian craft. There is alignment here between warm hearts and cold titanium. Starfleet is a deeply principled organization, but it is not in the business of, well, what the sentimentality. There you go. Wow. I can read. I promise. I don't know. <laughs> in my head, that just did not make sense in Starship design and those it sends to fight, its battles will always have the best it can provide. This ability to get equipment and power where it needs to go is useful in both diplomacy and combat because it is more primal, more fundamental than either. When hearts and heads align, the greatest strides of progress are made. So there is that little blog or that little description of the friends ship class again not my favorite looking ship at all these things do float these two parts here i think well everything floats i believe i don't own this i know some cabs do and some like it some are just like yeah but and i know spencer mentioned that he likes the console off of this so i don't think this will be a ship that we'll ever get to be honest it just does not do anything for me it's been mentioned so many times, it looks like a Halo melee weapon. That's the first thing I associate it with, but also looks like a keyhole with warp missiles. I, I can say, but we'll just quickly go over the stations here. So it is a Commander Engineering Command. It is a Lieutenant Commander TAC slash Intel, as Lieutenant Commander Science, Lieutenant Universal, and an Ensign Universal. So, and then it's layout there for its consoles. There, well, it is, of course, weapons is 4-4. Four, four. And then it's consoles 3 TAC, 5 Eng, and 3 Psy. But again, we've already gone through over this. We're just going to link that video over here that we did. So that you caps can go ahead and look at or listen to that if you'd like. Where we go over the whole thing there. But the main purpose of this video was not that. It is this. So we know that... Cryptic had a 10 forward stream with this Star Trek resurgence by uh, producers. And we caught a little bit of it, but what we want to show in this video is some of it from that stream, which is I already have it queued up here because 
they showed how we're going to get the ship and it did confirm that we are getting this well as a visual re thing to pick up but here let's just play this because it's it's gorgeous as you can tell i'm excited like i can't even contain myself how awesome this is back hello everybody hello everybody <laughs> that was exciting what was that <laughs> thomas care um, to explain yourself um yeah i mean we are we are very excited and proud to announce that uh, very soon you will be able to unlock the resolute inspired uh centaur refit skin as an option for your uh, Miranda Family Starship in Star Trek Online. That'll be available uh, for a limited time in the C Store uh, in the Promotions tab, and it'll be for free. So, Absolutely um, free. Yep. So go check that out. Um, unlock the skin, and then you can use these um, Resolute parts, uh, which we call Centaur Refit, um, only because we already had a Resolute class ship in STO, um, and the you know the lore of the the resolute is that uh, she underwent a refit before the actions uh, you know of the game. So I figured that was probably the, the easiest way to square the circle there. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just I'm just really excited. Um, uh, you know I, I had a ton of fun with Star Trek Resurgence. It's a great game. It's a great addition to the Star Trek games pantheon. It's the kind of Star Trek game. You know um, obviously I love SDO and I'm very proud to work on it. But I'm also really glad to have more. Star Trek games out there, more new Star Trek games. Star Trek Infinite's coming out this week too. Very excited about that as well. But you know, I, I, I love the idea of trying to build like a gaming universe for for modern Star Trek games. And so getting to work with um, with Dan and the Resurgence uh, people to and having them let us put their baby in STO was um, was certainly an honor. And we're uh, we're thrilled that it's here as well. I was going to say, uh, how you, how you feeling yeah. about this, Dan? <laughs> I, I I love it. I love seeing the resolute from every angle that uh, we get to see it, and you know, in a new context here. Uh, and I'm having a lot of fun with STO, and I can't wait to uh, put it in uh, over my Miranda class. I've been playing as a regular Centaur just because uh, you know I wanted to get the feeling, and here uh, we're going to get the real real deal. Uh, so, and I believe it's October 12th that it's available. It is. Yep, It'll be available right. in two yeah, whole days. Two days. <laughs> so we won't have to wait for very two long. Two days. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Uh, so, Thomas, obviously, uh, this is not for me, who is uh, uh, deeply versed on every variant of uh, Federation ship in existence, but for other people who might not, uh, can you talk us through a little bit about how the uh, Resolute is different from your standard Centaur and tell me what to zoom in on? Anyways, Caps, I'm going to link this stream in the description below, but I just thought I'd just kind of put that little bit there, but we saw the trailer. It is so, I do have to agree with them. I love how we're getting things from other games in here, and it's free. Captains, it's free. So this is going to be on October 12th now. They said we just have to go to the Promotions tab, so we're going to go to Stow Bridge here quickly. And again, just to make sure, in case captains 
then all you got to do here is when you're in stow, go to your Zen store button right there, promotions tab, and boom, it's going to be here. So it's going to be limited. Now, captains, if you remember in our video that we did a couple of days ago, this actually was a released in terms of kind of accidentally. We'll, we'll go back to that quickly, but also I wanted to go through something in terms of more in release information, which of course has to do with what how they're releasing this because it is in conjunction with the release of the hard copy of Star Trek Resurgence. So that is, again, I love these duos, the, these team ups here. It's absolutely awesome. And I hope we kind of get more of this stuff. I really do because to kind of bring together the Star Trek universe is absolutely amazing from obviously older games, but also Star Trek Resurgence. And who knows, this can just keep going. This can just keep going in terms of what we get here in Star Trek Online. But again, all we got to do when you're in game is just head to the promotions tab here. That's it. And we get it for free. We get it for free. And that is so, so awesome. So again, that does start November 12th. And what we're going to do here quickly is now that we've shown that off is we're going to go back to the blog here. And show that blog that we still haven't seen yet as of the recording of this video, but this is releasing on the 11th, so the day before. Again, it is a limited time release. I just want to bring attention to that because it's only from October 12th to November 30. So that's a good amount of time. Now that could change. They could change it. They always, you know, I don't think they will, but again, this hasn't been officially, officially released where they're not going to take it down right away. So just a reminder, captains, you get this for free and then you can have another piece to actually kit bash with the Miranda family of ships. And we have a lot of kit bashability. Yes, that's a word, kit bashability with the Miranda ships. So again, this is coming out then. Now, huge shout out to Waldo who posted this on Reddit. Captain, you know that we appreciate all what you do also for us and joining us when we're on live. But he found this link, which is Star Trek Resurgence pre-order page has more photos of the Resolute skin in Stowe. So we follow this link here. And shout out to you, Waldo. This is a credit to you. This is actually bringing it to the Resurgence site, which we actually haven't been covering because, well, we finished the game, but we probably will do an update. Possibly, we'll see. But here we go. We're going to just read this, go over it, and again, kind of cover it here on what is going to be included in this. So Star Trek Resurgence will beam down to retail stores on October 27th for limited time. Pre-order the day one customers will receive two free codes from participating retailers. Code one unlocks Star Trek Online's Federation Elite Starter Pack. So this is essentially confirming that blog that was taken down for consoles. A pack that will prepare a new Federation captain to begin their adventures in Star Trek Online. While Code 2 allows download of the first issue of the Star Trek Resurgence comic book series, a prequel to the story told in game. So again, this Federation Elite Starter Pack is only for console. Makes sense because the release is a hard copy on console. Furthermore, players of Star Trek Online will soon leave Space Dock in the captain's chair of the USS Resolute. I have a smile just saying that. The hero ship of Star Trek Resurgence. Star Trek Online captains can get this beloved starship for free in Star Trek Online from October 12th to November 30. So officially, there to go. If not from Star Trek Online, at least we'll get it from Resurgence. The Resolute, a Centaur-class reef at Bourne during the Dominion War, serves as a science vessel on the frontier of Federation space, as any seasoned Star Trek fan knows. The ship 
is at the core of every external order adventure, whether making meaningful decisions in Star Trek Resurgence uh, or embarking on exciting quests in Star Trek Online. I love that. I love this pick too. The USS Resolute will be available for Star Trek Online players to keep by claiming it between October 12th and November 30th. The retail pre-order day one pack will be available from participating retailers for a limited time. Star Trek Resurgence will be available for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and Xbox Series X, Xbox One consoles at retail stores starting October 27th. And for the eager to dive in even sooner, the game will be is available to download now on the same platforms as well as Xbox Series S and PC. And this is how we got it. We actually do have a copy. And we did get it from Epic Games Store. And this is awesome. And now I like this pick because it's depicting a hero ship or the hero ships. Of course, we have the hero ships from Canon. The hero, well, that now includes, of course, the Odyssey, but now we have the hero ship from a game, Star Trek Resurgence, which we do love. We actually do like that game. We love how the story was told. The story was the main feature, the meat of it, but the Resolute was also a character in that game and it had its chance to shine. And boy, did it ever, because it did some good pew pews. And, and yeah, we're going to have a theme built on it. And for us, I think what we're going to use is the legendary Miranda. I believe that's the one that has the hangar bay. So because in the game, it does have a shuttle mission where it launches from the front. So I think that's just going to be how we're going to do it. And it's just going to be a very simple build. But it, all the purpose of it is just to take it out and just have fun in it. And look at that. Just a couple more shots of her. And we'll probably use this one as a thumbnail because that just looks really good right there. So there you go, Caps. And this is right there. That's the scene I was talking about. It had a shuttle mission in the game where it actually launched from the shuttle bay there, which is one of the differences on this ship. So Caps super excited super excited we have been super excited for a couple of days now since we found out that blog so again huge shout out to darth huge shout out to waldo for this information and huge shout out to star trek online for getting and reaching out to star trek resurgence and for them allowing their hero ship to be in star trek online and as we heard there in that little snippet of the stream the dan there was actually playing star trek online so you know, it's you can tell when passion and that also is why I want to go over that little bit of the stream there. I can hear the passion from Thomas. I can hear from Dan Kale's excitement of just bringing this into the game. So I can't wait. Captains, you know, we're going to do one of our casual builds on this and share it here on the bridge and just have fun as we normally do. So do us a huge favor. Hit that like button, of course, but also comment below. Let us know if you're going to get this because I've heard some are not going to get it, but I really just get it. It's free. Even if you don't use it, it's free. Get it now. We have a month and a half essentially to claim this, but just claim it on day one. And who knows? We may have like a whole resolute fleet going on there so we can just have some fun TPs. But comment below. Let us know uh, why, if you played Resurgence. That's what I want to know. If you played Resurgence and what you thought of the story and what you think of this whole crossover happening now in Star Trek Online because for the past half year now, we've been getting some great, great things from other games. Sort of with the Valkyrie, Kodai Fighters, the Theseus now, the Resolute. And of course, if you're new here, consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge and we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.